So if you're looking for a way to offer multiple size options of your planners to your customers, then today I'm going to show you how to quickly do that in Canva. Let's get started. Hi, you guys, Frankie here with Hello Frankie & Co. And I help biz owners and creatives just like yourself create planners with the use of planner templates. Now, in today's video, I will be showing you how I resize my planners in Canva without having to start from scratch. So let's head over to Canva to get started. Okay, so we're inside of Canva, and I want to just point out that we are using the Canva Pro version today, and that's because the resize feature is only available within the Pro version. So if you are new to Canva or you're currently using the free version, then you would have to upgrade to the Pro version in order to utilize this feature. My recommendation is if you are a planner business owner or you're inspiring, you know, you're just getting started and you do want to offer multiple sizes of your planner pages to your customers, then I say go for it and upgrade to the pro version. Also, you can utilize it across the board for your social media so or any other graphics. Any documents that you create in Canva, you can resize as well. But I also like this, the resize version if I am resizing maybe from an Instagram post to like some like maybe a different graphic and I just want to kind of copy and paste instead of recreating from scratch. OK, now, if you do want to upgrade to the Canva Pro version, you can click the link down below and um, you can try Canva Pro out for the for the first 30 days free of charge. All right. So let's get started you want to open up your document that you'd like to resize. Here I'm using my essential planners version and we're just gonna go ahead and resize this bad boy. And what we're gonna do is head over to resize. And as you can see, you'll see this little crown here. If it's yellow, that means that you're using the free version. If it's white out like this, then you're in the pro version and you can utilize this feature. So we're going to click on resize. And here I am currently using the eight and a half by 11, which is my original document size. So there's two ways that you can resize. You can either search for a design and it will provide you with that those particular dimensions. You can utilize a custom size or you can scroll through here as well and choose whichever size or dimension works best for you. Now, typically I offer my customers eight and a half by 11 and also A4. So you will see here that some of my recent documents is an A4 document. But if I did not know the dimensions, I, or if I knew the dimensions and it was not in my recent sections, I would insert it here in custom, which is what I do most often, okay? Now, the cool part, and this is like a quick pro tip, is you can also resize to multiple documents sizes. So let's just say I wanted to resize to an A4. I could put the dimensions here and then maybe I wanted to do an A5 while I'm at it and I can put the dimensions here for the A5. Um, just make sure that when you are using the custom size that you change whatever the dimensions are, like the metrics for it, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and utilize the A4 document since I've already utilized that before in the past. And I'm going to click on that and hit copy and resize. Now, if you don't want to make a copy, you just want to resize this original document, which I typically never do unless I've made an error. But I would just click on A4. I'm going to get out of here. And then I would resize. And that will resize the document that you're currently in. What I usually do is I'm going to leave this document the size that it's currently at, which is the letter size. And I'm just going to make a copy, but that copy version is going to be an A4 document. So I'm going to click on copy and resize. And what it's going to do is open up in another window here. Okay. Now your new size document has opened up in another tab. And as you can see, there are a couple edits that we will, will possibly need to make. And I'll show you how to do that. So if you do have elements or um, maybe your wording or your text, whatever it may be on your design is maybe smaller in size compared to your actual document, what you can simply do is you can 
highlight everything and resize it to your desire, which you can see here. And it will kind of resize automatically. So I'll, re I'll pull it here and then pull it down here. And then everything kind of stays in the same dimensions together. Okay, so if you run into that issue, and we'll scroll down here, I'll show you another example. With this one, I can just really grab here and probably the bottom and just pull if I wanted to. So for example, here, if I feel like this is too big or too small, then I will grab everything on the document by highlighting it and then just simply drawing it in or drawing it out to my desired size. And there you have it. Here is an easy way for you to resize your planner pages without having to build them from scratch. I like to simplify my process and this is one of the easiest ways that I've found to offer my customers multiple size options without having to recreate each one over and over again. Now, if you found this video helpful, I'd love if you give me a thumbs up. This just helps me with creating content that serves you best. And I will chat with you soon.